Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Carlo Ancelotti has said that he wishes to remain at Everton longer than the contract he has signed. He said it's his dream to be in charge of the Blues at Bramley Moor Dock. Ancelotti signed a four and a half year deal in December to become the Everton manager. He's made a great start to his Everton career. and seen a team now up into seventh place and chasing European football next season. He said Everton is a beautiful club. The training facilities are fantastic. He said the club is like a family. He said the city has got a rich football history and he's very comfortable at Everton. He said the, the plan is for Everton to be near the top, fighting for titles. Uh, he said at the top, actually. I was trying to play it down a bit. Fighting for titles uh, within a few years and hopefully developing the team. So... It's excellent that, you know, he's come in and, and obviously there's been a big upturn in form, started, of course, by Duncan Ferguson, carried on by Carlo Ancelotti. Um, club definitely going, or the team definitely going in the right direction. And it's fantastic to have a man as decorated as Ancelotti at the helm. And it's great that he feels that he's settled here well. Um, loves it, has got big ambition for the club. So Everton are really, really ambitious and want to be at the top of the league. So why not? Why not? So good news, good to hear him wanting to be here for the long run, definitely. Uh, Everton today have been linked with Ozan Tufan and Fenerbahce, the midfielder has five assists and two goals this season. Um, was injured last season, but he's come back strong this season. According to Fanatic, which is a, a Turkish-based newspaper, Everton have already held preliminary talks with Fenerbahce and a fee of around £20 million has been muted for the 25-year-old. Uh, Jibble Sidderby is another one who's been in the news today. He is who's available for around £12 million in the summer if Everton want to make his uh, transfer from Monaco permanent. He's on loan for this season. And uh, reports today saying that Ancelotti has decided he wants to keep Sidibe and Everton will buy him uh, permanently in the summer. Who knows? Who knows? Are people guessing or has Ancelotti really said that? Who knows? Uh, according to Ajogo, the Portuguese outlet, Yannick Balassi has been left out of the last two Sporting Lisbon match day squads due to his poor training. Uh, Balassi was sent off and lost his place, having played most of the games this season. And uh, manager Silas has not been happy with uh, Balassi's training since the red card. So he's been left out of the last two squads. It's not great news for Everton because he was doing well and a lot of people thought that Sporting would keep him. Uh, Joe goes say that it's still, you know, the likelihood they still do, do want to keep him in the summer. And they've said that Balassi is available for 4.5 million euros if Sporting want to keep him. So uh, hopefully he'll get back in the side and do well for himself and, of course, for Everton to, uh, to get him finally off the wage bill. And finally, Lewis Gibson played again last night for Fleetwood Town. They won 1-0 at Wickham Wanderers. Gibson was excellent. Joey Barton has called him a huge talent who will go to the top. Uh, Everton tweeted about him today and so did Fleetwood. He's played three times for Fleetwood since he moved there on loan and they've won all three games. So fantastic for Lewis there and uh, long may it continue and hopefully... He will, uh, he will make his way into the Everton side and, and we'll win all the games that we play. Who knows? Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you want more videos, join us on Patreon. See you later.